Greetings friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're talking about private class fields in JavaScript. This is a stage three proposal from TC39. It's out there in the wild. Um, it's been out there since Chrome 74. Uh, it's in Node 12. TypeScript and Babel support it. So you can use this. Uh, just be aware it's not in all of the browsers at the moment. What does it provide for us? Well, encapsulation. We can declare uh, a property on a class and it won't be accessible by users outside that class. You can still use it within the methods within your class, uh, but no one else can get to it. So this allows us to um, have the internal workings of a class uh, hidden from the user. And that means in the future we can change that internal working without worrying about breaking users of the class uh, that have been hooking into that and, and hooking into the way it works at the moment. So it's good for the maintainability of your code. Uh, let's well before we before we jump in um, if you find yourself enjoying the video feel free to click that subscribe and alert bell icon below and you'll get updates for new videos as they come out but let's jump in now I'm going to create a class as I would today um, just to start with so we had a counter and we wanted to create a property count on here in the constructor I would do this dot count and give it a value. Just make that slightly bigger, like so. Um, and then we can create this class, like so, and output that value. We can, so from counter, we can access this property no problems at all, um, straight away like that. So just creating a new instance of this class and then we're accessing the count property of it there. Um, so if I do a node class fields, give that a run, you can see we're getting the 20 out there. Okay, so that's the day. Class fields, private class fields and class fields, we can change this to class fields, which is just a syntactic change initially. Um, so rather than declaring it in the constructor, I can declare straight out here now, count equals 30. Uh, and I no longer need to even have the constructor in that case. And if I save that off, that will work as today. So we're still getting the value coming out. We're still able to access that because it's not private. To make it a private class field in JavaScript, we need to add a hash on the front. Um, the reason it's that rather than what say C sharp might use um, or a lot of other languages where you would say private uh, is to make sure uh, we're not going to break any existing code that's out there in the world um, and also for future proofing um, that that functionality that this syntax within JavaScript so it's a little bit strange but we need to put a hash on the front there uh, now with that in place it's private and I shouldn't be able to access it from um, the my counter here now. So here, I shouldn't be able to get it. So if I do a clear screen here and run that, we're getting undefined. And that is because it is private. So the way that you would then do this is then provide a method that returns that. Um, so if we do show count, then in here, we can return this dot and we still need to use the hash um, in front of that when we're accessing it I'll just try and tidy this up a little bit there uh, so now rather than accessing our private which it won't let us field we call the method show count and if we run that one down here we get our value again because we're allowed to call methods um, and they've encapsulated uh, the, the internal workings for us. Um, so there you go. Very good. It's something that has been missing from JavaScript. Um, we've we've got it now. Uh, very exciting stuff. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.